everyone sniffing up this ASA softball batch there are. Today I'm here to bring you a bat comparison between three 2021 bats for ASA. Top one there is the Onyx Firstborn, then the Anarchy Loco, and then the Monster DNA Legacy on the bottom. We are doing two rounds of five using the, let's see what do we got here, the AD Star Tattoo NX3. This is the 2021 ASA swing off. Round one, game seven. Getting us started is the Anarchy Loco One Piece. 93 miles per hour. So the Loco came in one piece and two piece. Uh, the two piece has a black, uh, or I'm sorry, a blue uh, paint for the base. This obviously has the yellow base paint there. 94 miles per oh, hour. Now, Loco, this bat in the swing, in the zone, feels fantastic. It's a one piece, 25 ounce mid load. Oh, that was not a good swing. So, 25 ounce mid load, one piece. That's just like uh, my current game of the Monster Sinister. It feels just like it in the zone. 92 miles per hour. Come on now, Loco! Now any uh, swing that doesn't register, uh, I got the radar at 88, if it registers under that, it won't count it. 92 miles per hour. As I hear that, it'll get an extra swing. 94 miles per hour. Alright, I must say, got some good fatigue going, I came into the day just tired, got a good amount of swings in me. Already here, but these are all 25 ounce bats too. So here's the Onyx first born. This also the mid load. Bigger handle knob is the first thing you'll notice when you grab this one. After the 95 miles per hour. An anarchy. I'd say of all these bats, the Legacy DNA Legacy has the least amount of swings. So I'm just out, you know, I'm just a 43 year old guy hitting in his garage in Milwaukee. Not being super technical with this, just trying to compare the bats. All the bats are coming in different places in terms of the amount of swings. The local has quite a bit, probably has a little bit more than the Onyx Firstborn. And then the Legacy, or maybe the Loco and the Firstborn are about equal. The Legacy just a little bit behind. 95 miles per hour. Oh, well, they might be about even. They all have around 500 to 600 swings, would be my guess. 95 miles per hour. All right. Well, I can't remember how many swings we got. There, we're going two rounds of five. So if I do an extra swing, that an extra one. 94 miles per it hour. Won't count. So I can't remember if this will be swing number five or six. 95 miles per hour. Yeah, that's good for consistency there, firstborn. So Onyx, this is the first uh, ASA bat that they've done. So that's exciting. Always fun to see a new bat come to the market. Here's the DNA Legacy. This is a 25 ounce with a one ounce end load. 97 miles per hour. There you go. There you go. This is an M5 composite. 96 miles per hour. There you go, Legacy. So this is the same, uh, the Monster Flip Money was also an M5. Uh, that one, I believe, was a half ounce end load. This is a, a full ounce end load. 93 miles per hour. You know what? This one feels wonderful. It's feeling really good. 96 miles per hour. Go. So we got 24 bats started in this 20, 2021 ASA swing off. We're just doing tournament style. 95 miles per hour. So the, the bat with the lowest max exit velocity is out of the tournament. I think, I can't remember if that's five or not. This, again, if this is extra, it just doesn't count. 95 miles per hour. Uh, then we give a bat one point for the bat with the highest exit velocity, max. One, path, uh, bat, one point for the bat with highest average. 
So started out with eight. Eight games. 91 miles per hour. With the uh, 24 bats. Three bats against each other. And then in round one, we'll do a ninth game with all the bats that lost, and we'll let uh, one re enter the tournament. 92 miles per Come hour. Come on, Loka, let's go! This is a low compression uh, only bat. So a lot of the anarchy bats you can use for the 52, 300 ball and the 44s. Uh, the loco uh, you can only use for the uh, low compression ball, the 52, 300. 94 miles per hour. All right. Come on now. You got to go for it, loco. 93 miles per ah. hour. Tell you what, I just love the feel of this bat. Just not getting that performance. It's got great webbing on it. Come on, Loco, right now, right now, last swing. You know, I just look, you only need it once. You only need one swing right here. 95 miles per okay. hour. Okay, okay. Can't remember what the firstborn got. All right, firstborn, just go for 96 right away. Right away, put the Loco out. 97 miles per hey, hour. That away. Hey, that's really exciting. I mean, this Onyx, like I said, first year in ASA. That is exciting. This also came in mid loaded, or uh, with an end load. This is the mid load model. 95 miles per hour. I wanted to go with the mid load because, like, my current gamer, the Sinister, uh, is in mid load. So I wanted to see how this compared. 95 miles per hour. All right. Well, you definitely advanced already. That away, firstborn. 95 miles per hour. That. One more. It's a two piece bat. 94 miles per hour. All right. Well, it looks like legacy. DNA Legacy, you already got the uh, point for max for the game. Go for the average as well here. 95 miles per hour. It just feels fantastic. You can feel it just coming off that barrel. 89 miles per hour. Oh, that's not a good swing. That's not good for the average there at DNA Legacy. 97 miles per hour. There you go. That'll help it out. So this one you're only going to use for low compression uh, ball as well. 96 miles per hour. I must say, you know, this This is M5. That flip money is an M5. I definitely like this one better at this point. Last one here, let me see. 97 miles there you per go. hour. Oh, out of way! It looks like the Legacy and the Onyx Firstborn, DNA Legacy and Onyx Firstborn, both advance. Feel free to leave any questions, comments down below. This is the Bat Hound, everyone signing up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here. Check out some other videos up here and down here. Thanks, everybody.